guys, welcome back. Happy Christmas and a blessed Yule to you all. I hope that you had a really good time uh, with the winter solstice, with the grand conjunction, that you're really feeling that shift of the energies around you now as we step into the age of Aquarius. So first of all, uh, from my house to your house, I wanna wish you an absolutely phenomenal Christmas. Um, if you haven't followed me on Instagram or on Facebook, Mystic Love Tarot, I was putting pictures up from the solstice at my house. Um, so it was, quite a, it was quite lovely to share those monumental moments with you as we step into the new fresh energy. So I got given um, a deck at the tarot conference and it is a deck that I already have. Um, the Mystical Dream Tarot by Janet Pedalato. She's amazing. I met her, absolutely love her. She's a phenomenal woman. Now, um, as a thank you for everything that you've done, I want to give this out to one of you guys. I want to get it shipped over to you so that you can have it um, in your house. So if you want to write in the comments anything you want, um, just so that I know that you're interested in the deck. And what I will do is I'll put it through an automatic kind of name feed thing with your YouTube names. And then I will announce the winner next Thursday uh, on New Year's Eve, I think it is. So if you want this deck um, and you're interested in having this deck, it's not even opened, it's completely sealed up. Um, the artwork is beautiful. In fact, uh, where is my deck? Let me show you some of the artwork so you can see it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful artwork. So, um, see this mark copy. <laughs> So if you're interested in it, you'll have seen me using it on public readings before, but it all came through um, her dreams. It took her nine years to make the deck. So if you're interested in it, just drop me a comment. Also make sure that you've subscribed as well. Uh, so subscribe, drop me a comment, say I'm interested, I want the deck or any kind of messages for Christmas or healing throughout the world. Let me know um, how I will get an auto generated thing to pick one of you guys out and I will get this sent off to you at the very start of January when everything goes a little bit more back to normal. So just to reiterate, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done it. Write in the comments that you're interested in the deck or any other messages um, just so that I can make sure that I get your YouTube name. I'll announce it next Thursday, okay? And then I will get this shipped off to you in January. It's a beautiful deck, really, really beautiful. So from my house to your house, as a thank you for all your love and support in a very difficult kind of challenging year for everyone. Uh, so deck coming to someone watching okay right so what we're going to do today is we're going to focus the energy on this kind of very Christmassy feel energy and I've picked more mystical magical decks Um, we're going to be doing what are their thoughts uh, over this Christmas period for you so stepping a little bit into the future energy as it's uh, Christmas Eve when you get this so Christmas Eve Christmas Day in England we have Boxing Day I don't know about the rest of the world um, but deck number one and deck number two so think about you and think about your person and as you're feeling your energy from your person really push it into the deck you are most drawn to number one number two uh this is the mythical creatures tarot baba studios and this is the marchetti tarot by Cara marchetti he's also amazing met him too okay so let's do this deck number one can you tell me please what are their person's thoughts going to be about them people watching over their Christmas period, their people's thoughts, what are their thoughts going to be over the Christmas period? Such a magical time of year, you know, when we go through that darkest night and then the sun starts to make more of an appearance back in our lives, you know, uh, mid winter's day. And then we have Christmas and then we have New Year and it's always such a magical, magical time of year. Okay, can you tell me what is that person going to be thinking of them over the Christmas period? I'll jump again if we need it to. What will that person be thinking of them? Ooh. This deck is beautiful as well. Look at that moon card. Absolutely beautiful. What is that person going to be thinking of them over the festive period? How many do you want? Okay, my guy's just saying six, so we're just going to go for six cards today. Okay. 
I love this one as well because it's staring at me at the top of the face. So what your person is going to be thinking of you over Christmas, you have this direct movement coming in from them. So whether it's energetically, whether it's physically, you have a movement, a shift in consciousness, spirit are saying. There is this kind of sense over here about rising from the ashes. So your relationship might have been a little bit strained. Whatever your individual circumstances have been, there is this sense of this relationship re-rising, recuperating, re igniting spirit are saying as this connection bonds between you both so there's very strong fire energy around you both this transmutation of the connection between you both and it's transmuting into a more positive light so it might be strained, might be difficult but you have this shift in your energy and this is happening now like right now right here right now as i do your cards there is this transmutation of you and your person's energy, a shift in the consciousness, a shift in the frequency arising from the ashes. So that is very good, very positive that your person is thinking that this is something that they want to invest the time in to shift the energy up. We have this kind of two of swords card coming forward over here where they have felt a little bit torn with the situation that they perhaps haven't communicated with you in the best light. But with this eight of wands over here, there was a shift and an end in this two of swords energy. There was a shift and that, yeah, I don't need to repeat that, but there was a shift and an end um, in this kind of tug of war that has been happening between you both i don't know if you ever played tug of war when you were little where one of you uh, a few of you would have the rope one end and the other load of you would have the rope the other and you have to pull different sides of the rope so you have this tug of war energy being coming up with you guys. Um, now it's like th it's like this rope is being dropped over this Christmas period. So where it's been at loggerheads, where it's been more difficult, where it's been more complicated, there is suddenly this release of the energy, like the rope is being dropped between the two of you and this direct movement is coming forward. And it's gonna be starting off with this very stable communication for you okay so even if you don't see them over christmas it's most likely that you're going to hear from them um if you haven't heard from them over the christmas period it won't be long before you do hear from them it's going to happen on an energetic level first if you haven't heard from them over christmas energetic level first and then that energetic level will go from 5d down to 3d and into your homes OK, so there's a shift in energy, very, very strong shift in energy. Your person has been reflecting on the situation. Um, it's almost as if they've been in a little bit of hibernation over these colder, colder months. They've been hiding away, thinking things through. Um, you've been getting fed up and frustrated, thinking, well, what's actually happening? Are we actually shifting or are we just going to stay stationary? Um, very cocooned spirit are saying and from that cocoon you know um butterflies they always go into this cocoon before they launch and again it is very much like this phoenix energy it's felt stagnant it's felt stuck it's felt like nothing's happening or it's been really you know internalizing very kind of keeping it hibernating keeping it warm and now as christmas hits you have this shift in the energy Okay, very strong shift in your energy. Your person's thoughts towards that are wanting this shift in the energy. They're wanting this connection to take the next steps. We have the Knight of Cups popping up over here. Okay, so your person's love for you. Again, a card of movement stepping forward. Uh, they will be expressing to you their emotions. Um, they might be a little bit in turmoil when they do that, but the reason why is because when it comes to your person as a whole, again, your collective energy, when it comes to talking about emotions, it can often make them feel vulnerable. And your person doesn't like to feel vulnerable. They like to have their walls up. They like to be like, well, I'm super strong. I'm super powerful. I am the one in control over this. So when it comes to talking about emotions and them taking the reins of the situation, um, sometimes they might be a little bit blasé, a little bit here and there, um, but it's because they don't want to give you that sense of vulnerability. They don't want you to think that they are vulnerable when it comes to the situation with you. However, over this Christmas period, you have a shift in energy, you have a shift in movement, and this is another movement card based on heart-centered energy towards you. So very strong love connection coming forward here. Um, your person is gonna talk to you about their feelings, um, and it's gonna be open communication as well. It's not gonna be so closed off. It might be a little bit up and down, like I said, with the seas, the tides, might be a bit up and down, but there is gonna be this level um, of communication, which is heart-centered. Spirit is saying it's really important that you read between the lines. If they don't tell you what you wanna hear, um, do read between the lines of what they are actually saying. 
okay so don't add things up in your head and make two and two and 20 but do read between the lines because they might say stuff like oh i want to see you or um hope you're having a really good christmas the fact that they will have reached out is going to say something more than nothing you know all that kind of energy so do read between the lines of this connection over the christmas period but just don't overthink it okay two very strong cards of movement your person's thoughts are making these moves towards you Right, we have a couple of cyclical energy cards coming up over here with the moon and the world. Um, often this will symbolise the moon, symbolising the divine feminine energy um, and with the world as well. Both of these very cyclical, you know, the moon, you have the new moon, the full moon and then we start all over again. Cycle, cycle, cycle and the world also indicating a cycle too. So if you and your person have been kind of stuck in a bit of a loop, playing rewind, rewind and, um, and fast forward. So it just so showed me a um, old vinyl record where you put the sticky thing on it and it spins around. Sometimes you might feel like you've been going through a bit of a loop with your person, but the connection between you both is still really, really strongly there. There is a sense of freedom that is gonna be coming from this situation as the new year approaches, Spirit is saying. Gonna be giving you a bit of more chance to have a breather you're going to be feeling a lot more at peace from the connection uh, potentially a lot of you are going to be breaking the cycles in this much more positive way this positive direction cycles being broken there are still shadows here there is still fear-based energy um your person might still be you know if they open up like i said opening up to you about their emotions they might feel that that vulnerability um makes them feel weak so they could withdraw a little bit but you have a shift and a change in the frequency between the two of you the last card over here that we have is strength uh, we have the chicken and the lion okay so what this is saying with these two cards over here is actually that you guys watching are more in control of this situation than what you think you might have felt that your person is holding the reins of this but actually it's you so even though the hand can be docile um you know and and yeah docile and doesn't really have the kind of strength of a lion it's really important that you can see the overpowering of the energy here so you might not feel in control but you have this inner strength within you this inner strength is going to rise up and you're going to be able to handle this situation you are the ones that are in control of this you are the ones that have got the power of this. So we have their thought process towards you is very much about heart-centered energy. It's about stepping past cycles that they've already been in, that you guys have already been stuck in. It's getting out of the cocoon, into the butterfly, letting the phoenix rise from the ashes. Major shifts in the energy with you and your person over the Christmas period. Their thoughts about you over Christmas is this need for communication, this need for contact, this need for releasing fear, this need for breaking cycles, this is what they want. And that is going to be creating those actions towards you. Um, you know, like I said, even if they have these vulnerabilities and they let those vulnerabilities show a little bit, read between the lines of what they are not saying rather than what they are saying. Okay, really feel the energy, gauge the energy. Often words, um, words can be said to anyone, but when you feel energy and you sense energy, you know, my little mystic tribe, you're all psychic, you're all intuitive, you're all here for a reason. Trust yourself, trust your own intuition. And this is what's gonna give you that strength, okay? So big shifts happening over the Christmas period for you and your person. Major shifts happening, thought process towards you is this heart-centered energy coming forward. Um, stepping into their power to be communicating with you that you are the ones that are in control okay and that is deck number one so my beauties have an absolutely phenomenal christmas um if you want to have the deck if you want to enter the competition to have the deck just write a comment in the uh, comments box for me um, and I will do an auto-generated picking someone out and I'll announce it next Thursday on I think it's New Year's Eve but next Thursday whenever that is all right guys have a phenomenal Christmas with your family uh, sending tons of love to you I will speak to you all soon goddess blessings my loves bye Okay guys, deck number two. Now if you've just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, having a competition at the very, very start to win this beautiful tarot deck. Um, so scroll back to the beginning of the video for instructions on how to enter. Okay, deck number two. What are your person's thoughts going to be for you over the Christmas period? Let's see what's going on. Deck number two. Numero dois. Let's go. My best Brazilian. 
My partner's Brazilian, so sometimes we, we speak in the two languages at home, even though my Brazilian is really kind of, well, my Portuguese is really basic. I do try and speak in the two languages um, and sometimes it just comes out. Okay, can you tell me what is that person going to be thinking about them over the Christmas period? What is that person going to be thinking about them? Oh, these cards are so beautiful. Look at that. So beautiful. What is that person going to be thinking about them? Okay. There looks to be some kind of uh, stalking or watching social media going on. I am aware that not everyone has got social media, but there is definitely inter internet based connection happening here with you guys. So I'm just going to do what I did with deck number one and get the six cards for you. Four, five. Okay, I'm just going to do what I did on the other one. We've got seven cards. <laughs> I said six. Like on the last one, the, the top card was flipped over. So I took that and now the uh, cards have decided to equal it out as well. So seven cards. Four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven cards. Okay, so what is your person going to be thinking about you over Christmas? Your person has had a bit of a heavy year with you. Now, what they want to be doing over the Christmas period is celebrating. They want to be happy. They want this celebration of Christmas, really enjoying themselves over the festive period. However, that is not quite possible with your person. And the reason why is because they are feeling burdened by this situation. They are feeling this heaviness over the situation they are looking to stuff that has happened in the past and realizing that perhaps things went a little bit peak tongue and it went not quite the way they hoped or anticipated so they want to be happy over this christmas period they want to be celebrating with family and friends but really at the same time they are feeling a loss a heavy loss of the connection between the two of you very very sad energy coming forward from them and it is at Christmas, you know, everyone thinks it's this most beautiful time of year, but it is very, very difficult for a lot of people, especially when you're not in the connection that you want to be in. You know, it makes things very, very difficult. So your person is really going to be feeling that sense of loss for you over this Christmas period. And this is where this social media energy is coming forward, or if not social media, um, it's going to be internet based, whether you're on WhatsApp or Instagram or Facebook or whether it's over email, you have this communication kind of here lingering in the background. Your person is going to hit this very sad feeling going on and this is going to make them want to check in on you and see what you are up to, see what is going on. Now, from there, there is this sense of balancing over the situation and um, they're going to try and keep balanced on it. But there is this feeling of being quite fed up, being quite fed up, hoping that this um, heaviness that is weighing on their shoulders is going to come to a close. Um, feeling a sense of grief, a sense of loss, a sense of heaviness and a sense of sadness. Um, they can see a pathway towards you, but at the moment there's just this little bit of a block in the way and the block is them. They are creating this block um, in allowing you into their heart at the moment. Try, like I said, they're trying to keep balanced on it. They're trying to weigh up their head and their heart over the situation. Their logical side of things, their air energy is driving them in one direction and their heart energy, the cup energy, is taking them in the other. And they're trying to keep balanced, but what they are doing right now is fighting their soul. They are fighting their soul. Um, we have this kind of tiptoeing around you energy and I just got Jason Derulo tiptoe. Love that song. Um, they have this tiptoeing energy around you that they're just kind of lingering in the background, seeing what you're up to, seeing what's going on, but not really making these headway movements towards you just yet. But really watching you, seeing what you're up to, communicating with other people about you. What's happening? What, what are they doing? Who are they with? Are they with their family? What are they doing over Christmas? Are they seeing someone? They are curious and curiosity, uh, Spirit just said curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity is going to get the better of them and this is when they're going to want to be talking to you and seeing what you're up to and seeing if there is a way that they can communicate with you, talk to you about what they're feeling, talk to you about their emotions and that balancing energy, their soul will win. So at the moment, the logical side of things is winning. It's going to flip, it's going to reverse. The scales are going to re-tip and they will re-tip in the fact that your person's heart energy is going to take the forefront 
okay really important that this has kind of happened over this solstice period as well spirit is saying very strong spiritual connection with deck number two very difficult but very strong connection holding you two together. This kind of balancing act, really coming forward, um, feeling that, you know, is there room for growth in this situation? You know, Spirit always say to me that when you want to plant a seed, you put the bulb and you cover it in soil, you cover it in dirt, you cover it in all the rubbish, all the crap. And then these beautiful flowers come out of it. And this is a sense of your connection over here. It's been a bit buried. It's been a bit heavy. It's been a bit dark. But once all this crap has been built up on top, there is this room for blossoming coming forward. We have this Knight of Wands energy here as well. So your person, again, card of movement stepping towards you could still be non-committal, not really giving you what you want, but you have this movement coming forward, wanting to check in on you in fact spirit is saying that the more they gave me the word obsession um they're more obsessed with you than um what you think they might be there is this kind of obsession going on a bit like a di an addiction a drug addiction an alcohol addiction or you know an escapism addiction whatever addiction it is your person has that towards you and i just got that um from twilight not that i like twilight but where he says you're my own personal brand of heroin this is the connection that you two share so even if you're not in communication or it's all covered in the dirt to make the flowers grow the ad addiction energy is here and your person shifting movement towards you so very much a sense of loss of yearning of being very sad that the connection's not quite where they want it to be um but letting those heart energies take over Okay, so the heart energy is really going to navigate their soul from there we have the ten of cups and we have the sun so the ten of cups indicating the end of a cycle beginning of a new one the ten uh whenever you see ten ten it's normally an ending and a new beginning okay now ten of cups is all about love so where you're going to be is you're going to be stepping away from this kind of energy of being covered in the dirt this heaviness this sadness moving forward into these more happy times this very strong connection very love-based energy over here um Spirit showing us the dolphins, being really, really drawn to the dolphins on this card. And as you know, as you're all aware, dolphins are probably the only animal other than humans that make love on this planet for pleasure. And I might be wrong in that, but you know, people always used to tell you that when you were at school. Um, but there is this kind of pleasure energy coming forward from this, that you're stepping into um, a new chapter with one another. Your person's behaviour is still going to be a little bit on edge, a little bit non-committal, not really giving you what you want at the moment, but there is this progression route being opened up to you all, being opened up. Okay, so a little bit backwards and forwards still, a little bit trying to balance things out, but progression route is there for you. So the thoughts for you over Christmas overall, um, there is definitely, I'm checking in on you, I'm seeing what you're up to, I'm going to monitor you, I'm feeling sad over the situation, I miss you, or I haven't handled the situation in the best way, I'm feeling fed up, I know that there is a pathway we can take, I am aware that I'm blocking it, I'm blocking it because my thoughts are navigating the situation at the moment rather than my heart. But I can't live without you. I have this addiction energy towards you. I want to see what you're up to. I want to talk with you. We can then take a step in the right direction, move things into a more positive beginning, um, focusing on the unconditional we love, love we have together, and that will bring our happiness. And that is what your person is going to be thinking about you over Christmas overall okay and that is deck number two so again if you want to enter the competition to win the beautiful where's it gone over here bring the beautiful uh, mystical dream tarot just subscribe and write in the comments for me um i'm wishing you all a very very blessed christmas i hope you have a phenomenal time with your family um england at the moment has gone to shit again uh, so i am going to be about over christmas i'm still going to have some time off um but i am going to be about over christmas now so um if you need me just give me a shout i'm gonna put me out of office on but it doesn't mean that i won't be picking up my emails i will still get them um, and i will reply to you over the christmas period as soon as i possibly can um yeah england's gone crazy again so uh, all you guys please stay safe in these very very difficult times that we are all having um have a wonderful christmas with your family i will announce the winner of the mystical dream tarot uh, competition next thursday um for new year's have an amazing time i'm sending tons of love to you all stay blessed my angels